What's going on you guys? Today I'm really excited to show you the brand new Scout Knife by Sculpin Knife Co. This skeletonized fixed blade was proudly made in the USA by some really cool dudes who are outdoor enthusiasts, fly fishermen, and engineers. They have lots of experience in manufacturing and have always wanted to make their own gear and combine their work expertise with their hobbies and be able to share their ideas and creations with their fellow outdoorsmen. They've been working on the Scout for a couple of years, I think, so a lot of work and rework and prototypes and adjustments have finally led to this awesome blade you see right here. I think they spent a year alone on the packaging. You know, I expected this to come in like a brown paper sack or a Ziploc bag or something, being their first knife, uh, but their branding and packaging is awesome. Sculpin comes from the fish, Sculpin, uh, because they're fly fishermen, and Sculpin are a sign of a healthy ecosystem in a stream, and they're also a good food source for trout. So that's why these guys like Sculpin. This is from their first batch that went up for sale. Uh, you can see right here, lot 001, and it was kind of a pre-production batch, and their manufacturing process has changed a little bit since this batch, so future runs won't have the parallel lines that this one has from being ball milled. They sold these for $50 each, but the normal price will probably be around $75. Uh, and they're sold out by the way, so you can't buy this right now. But what you can do, and should do, before you even finish my video, is go follow them on Instagram, at Sculpin Knife Co. I'll put a link in the description, um, because they're going to try to do another batch before Christmas, hopefully, but who knows. But whenever it is, if you want to hear about it, that's going to be the best place on Instagram. Um, or I think their website, sculpinknifeco.com, has a mailing list too if you want to be notified that way. And I really wish I had a bigger channel so I could spread the word about these guys, but honestly they don't need anyone's help with that. They've put together a solid product, good branding, and with time I think they're going to be very successful. So let me give you the specs. Uh, it's made out of 1095 high carbon steel with a Rockwell hardness of 58. It comes with the Cerakote and Paracord wrap already done, and it includes a Kydex sheath and clip with multiple carry options. The blade length is 2.3 inches, the overall length is 6.125 inches, and the stock thickness is 0.125 inches. The knife weighs 1.8 ounces, and the sheath weighs 1.25 ounces. The first batch was only available with the Coyote Tan Cerakote, and they only had the green sheath too, but with either a rough or a smooth texture. And the paracord was available in tan, green, or bluish gray. So before I get to my likes and dislikes, let's see how it looks next to the Essie Azula 2. So they are kind of similar, but the Scout is smaller. I guess it's probably a little more comparable to the original Azula, which I don't have, uh, because the handle of the Azula 2 is like a half inch longer than the original but we'll compare it to the one I've got. Uh, the Azula is 0.156 inches thick, where the Scout is 0.125, so the Scout is thinner. The Azula 2 weighs 3.2 ounces with the scales, and I think 2.1 without. Uh, and the Scout weighs 1.8 ounces, but I'm getting 2.1 ounces with the paracord wrap. So the Scout is lighter, and we've got a 2.3 inch blade versus a 2.6 inch blade, and 6.125 inches overall, and 6.75 inches overall. There's more jimping on the Scout. The thumb jimping is longer and deeper. And there's also some jimping towards the tip for precision cuts. Because their knives are water jet, they're able to do deep jimping at that step in the process, without having to worry about affecting the heat treated zones. And compared to the Azula and the Civivi Minimus right here, the Scout definitely has the best jimping, and it's also the grippiest. The Azula has either a textured powder coat or black oxide coating, and this is Cerakoted. And I've never Cerakoted a knife before. I've seen pictures of people that have done it and it looks really cool. Uh, I'll be honest though, I'm not sure which one holds up better. Probably the Cerakote, uh, but any coating is going to wear with use, and you can see there's a little wear right here already from going in and out of the sheath. 
In general though, I imagine the Cerakote is going to be less frictiony, it's smoother than the Azula, and allow for smoother cuts. The handle shape of the Scout is wider and fills your palm a little bit better than a scaleless Azula. But the Azula has the options of putting on scales and the Scout does not, at least not yet anyway. So the extra width of the scales feels better in hand to me, but if you're going for a minimalist approach and aren't going to have scales anyways, then the Scout handle is definitely better. The Azula sheath I think is injected molded polymer. It's more bulky and plastic feeling. I definitely like the Kydex on the Scout more and appreciate that it doesn't add too much to the size. So which one is better or worse? I don't know, I think they're just different. And the more options we have as consumers, the better. Especially more options of knives and knives made in America. SE knives are tried and tested. They have an amazing warranty. We know they have a good heat treat. And if I was looking for a backup survival knife, I'd lean towards SE because of their good track record. But which one of these do I like better and would I actually take with me if I was going hiking, backpacking, small game hunting, or fishing? I'm probably going with the Sculpin Scout. It's smaller, lighter, and probably better for tasks like skinning or processing because of the thinner blade stock, smoother coating, and good jimping. So real quick, a couple more likes and dislikes, even though I've already mentioned some throughout. I like that it comes ready to go out of the box. It already has a really cool paracord wrap. A lot of you guys like doing custom stuff anyways to personalize your knives. But then there's people like me that have had this sitting here for a month now because I haven't had time to do it, don't know what I'm doing, and I keep redoing it. The sheath is also ready to go with the clip already attached, so you don't have to do anything at all. Just buy it, hook it to your belt or pack, and you're off. It would also be a sweet neck knife. And it's a really great value for a product made in the USA. And I like that these guys are actively trying to source as many materials as possible from the US. And any help or outsourcing they've needed along the way, they've dealt with people directly in Pennsylvania. Okay, so dislikes. I'd like more options eventually. It's their first batch though. I mean, they're just getting started, so I don't really expect that. But in the future, if they're able to, some different colors of sheaths and Cerakote would be nice. Some removable scales would be cool. And from talking with them, I think they are working on both of those things. And even though it's cool it came with the paracord wrap, maybe some instructions for how they did this wrap would be nice. Maybe a video tutorial or a diagram. Because I really want to take it off for you guys to show what's underneath. But I'm not confident I'll be able to replicate this. Uh, but there's nothing in the middle right here if that helps you picture the shape. They need a little bit more practice with the grind. Uh, it's not as even as I would like. They went a little too far on this side, especially at the tip. And the sharpness out of the box was okay, uh, but not great, especially when compared to the factory edge on an SE or Topps knife. But I think a couple minutes with some leather and strop would get it tuned up nicely. Overall though, this thing is badass. I really like the Sculpin Scout. And I'm excited for these guys. I can't wait to see their future products, and I'll probably be first in line. And I wish them the best of luck. Let me know what you guys think about the Sculpin Scout in the comments. Stay tuned for some size comparisons, and don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching.